Hello everybody, I am going to do a very quick video because I am already at the skating rink where I'm going to practice my hockey skating, which I do every day. But today, <clears throat> I want to share real quick about what to do if you get lost in the courts of heaven. Because oftentimes I find that something's not going well in my life, so it's I, I say, Holy Spirit, show me, you know, you reveal hidden things. Show me what it is that I need to repent of that Satan has. What accusation does Satan have against me in the court of heaven that I'm not getting results in this area of my life? And then sometimes the Holy Spirit will reveal to me uh, dreams. And in the dreams, I'll have uh, instant interpretation pretty much on how to... Um, get unstuck in the courts of heaven like what it is that's holding me up what particular generational sin or iniquity has been passed down or covenant might have been made that that will help me uh, get further but sometimes like lately I've gotten stuck in the courts of heaven it's like I understand the protocol and everything and I'm I, I've, I've repented of everything that the Holy Spirit put on my heart for my generation or me and I'm still stuck it's like okay Holy Spirit I'm still not having an answer to this prayer. I don't understand what it is that I need to repent of in iniquity in my generational lines or what I went through all the lists that I knew to go through. I went through all of the, um, you know, the deliverance lists and all the lists of the things that you can be delivered of, covenants and all that stuff, and still no answer from the Holy Spirit what I need to be delivered of. And it gets really, really frustrating. So I asked the Holy Spirit, you know, I don't want to just sit here and do nothing and wait and wait and wait till I hear something because it might, I, I'm going through, I will be going through something for a week or something and I still haven't heard from the Holy Spirit. What else do I need to repent of? What else is in my iniquity and in the line? Well, the Holy Spirit kind of gave me an idea what to do and I just started doing it because I never want to sit there doing nothing. So he said, basically, um, he said, go to, go to the new covenant and just start in any book and go through the book and see everything that is a problem for that is a sin or or he tells you not to do and repent of it so I opened to, up to first Peter and so I can show you what this means so I open up to first Peter and um, let's see I started reading and when I got to about uh, let's see where was it Okay, when I got to 1 Peter 2, it starts off like this. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and evil speaking. So I said, okay, there's a list of things I can repent of. Whether I needed to repent of them personally, or whether it was a generational line. So I said, Father, in Jesus' name, I just laid in my bed, or sat here reading it. I just said, Father, in Jesus' name, by faith, I repent of malice all deceit, all hypocrisy, all envy and evil speaking that I have done toward other people. And I repent of this for my generational lines all the way back to Adam and I ask you to forgive me for this. And then it says, and as newborn babies desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And so I say, Father in Jesus name, I repent of not desiring the milk of the word enough. And I desire it more. And I repent of this. I repent of not desiring the milk of the word for my generational lines all the way back to Adam. Please forgive me for this. Then I go on and I read a little bit further. I just keep reading till something pops out at me. I, you go down to verse 1 Peter 2, 11, And it says, Beloved, I beg you um, as you sojourn and pilgrims, pil pilgrims abstain from fleshly lust, lusts which war against your soul having your contact honorable among the Gentiles. So, oh, there's another clue. I can repent of that. So I say, Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of fleshly lusts. And I repent of that, and I repent of that for my ancestors all the way back to Adam. And so, see, and then I just keep going on reading, and oh, here's another one. Therefore, submit yourself to every ordinance of man and the law's sake, and to the king, which is supreme. Okay, and to the governor, and... Um, and then I say, well, Father, I repent of people in leadership positions in my state, in my country, in my community, in my job, wherever. Um, I repent of not submitting to their leadership. I repent, like if you don't like Trump, 
you say, I repent of bad-mouthing Trump or thinking bad things about Trump or disagreeing with Trump and not honoring him. And I, so I honor him right now in Jesus' name. I repent of that and I repent of all my generations before me, all the way to, back my family line, for not honoring the people that are in leadership above them, the people in our community and in our country and so on. So that just shows you a pattern. You can just take any book. So I start, he said, start the New Testament. And just go through it and see anything uh, that you can repent of when you run out of things to repent of because you're not having an answer to a specific prayer and you're not actually hearing from God what it is. There's something blocking your the revelation of what it is that is the accusation. And, and so instead of getting frustrated, you can move forward by just spending time going. And this is also clear clearing up your gateways um, by going through the Bible and, and seeing the different sins in the new covenant of uh, it, it clears up the gateway for example in in first Peter 4 if I continued I see the whole a list here of, of that the Gentiles walk in lewdness lust drunkenness re, re, revivories uh, drinking parties and of uh, abominable in doctrines boy as a mouthful it shows I'm a hick from the stick and I'm not very good at reading and then you say, I repent of those things for myself and for my ancestors all the way back to Adam. And so when you're not getting specific directions, when you went through all the prayers, um, if you go to uh, Terry Spencer's website, if you go to Ian Clayton, um, Justin Abram, um, the praying medic, and all the people who teach about the courts of heaven, Ian Clayton, I think I said, um, especially Terry Spencer, I think they have a lot of printouts and if you go through any kind of deliverance ministry um, I was trained in deliverance ministry and we have sheets of paper of Certain sicknesses in your body and certain attitudes and things happening in your life that sort of come from certain spirits um, like a spirit of uh, um, Levias would be certain behaviors would happen and so that you have to deal with those, uh, the root of the pro find the root of the problem, and then the spirit causing them. Well, if you've gone through all those deliverance lists, if you've gone through all the um, high courts lists, all like um, like your ancestors sacrificed to Baal, or um, one of the things um, in my generation when I went back and prayed, God said that my ancestors had given their hands to Moloch. And for gold and freedom from slavery um, it's like whoa wow that's heavy um, so I repented that these lists have uh, things like that breaking covenants and so forth but when you go through all those lists and you still have a problem or the spirit still keeps attacking you um, it's all legal you have to find more things to figure out what the root is and the devil's gonna try to stop you from knowing that he even has an accusation against you and try to stop you from finding out what that root causes or that came in what door was open and so sometimes it's a fight to find out what it is but the Holy Spirit is a revealer of secret things and that's what I keep reminding the Holy Spirit you're the revealer of hidden things would you please reveal to me what in the world is going on that I cannot have victory in this area of my life come on reveal to me and um, he, sometimes he does it in dreams. Sometimes it's like I'm waking and uh, awakened, and all of a sudden I have this revelation. It's like, wow, awesome, thank you, Lord. And I can just feel like the spirit of that or the heaviness of that leaving me as I repent of it. But when you run out of things and the Holy Spirit is quiet because the devil is trying to block it, then go to the Word of God. Uh, pick your favorite Bible in the, in preferably the New Testament. Of course, you know you can do the Old Covenant. Uh, but the, you're living in the New Testament, so I'd start with the New Testament and just go through it verse by verse and see what you can find of, in there that you can repent of for you and your generational lines and, and do it and it, it will help get you closer so that when you actually go to the courts of uh, heaven by faith um, that there there is less accusation against you and uh, prayers happen faster because you have bound up the legal loopholes that the devil has found against you and is keeping you from receiving your blessing because God is a just God and if devil if the devil found accusation against you God can't release to you what really belongs to you because the devil is accusing you and and you haven't showed up for court and say no I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus I'm innocent 
uh, apply the blood of Jesus. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. And website is robinbremer.net. So uh, be blessed. And if this was a blessing to you, share it with your social media sites, um, your Facebook groups. And I'd like to invite you to join my new Facebook group. If you type Robin Bremer, you'll probably find my group. It's um, it's, su it's it's something like angels, supernatural, courts of heaven, uh, and other normal Christian experiences, something like that. Join the group. I uh, when you join the group, I I do invite you to promote and uh, your blog, your Christian blog, your Christian book. If you sell jewelry as a Christian, uh, Christian jewelry or prophetic art and that kind of thing, um, anything Christian related. Uh, I, you know, you're welcome to, to promote it, tell when free days are on and this is your new book or whatever. Um, I like to promote people. And so share this with the social media site, your friends, check out my website. Uh, also check out my Facebook page profile that this is probably going to be on because I have a offer for all five or six, I think it is now six of my books on angels for only $20. That's like one third of the price if you bought it in print and these are PDF files so you can print them but you can't share uh, share them so check it out so for $25 you can get six of my angel books uh, and a word of warning my last book the courts of heaven uh, seeing angels in the sky book Four courts of heaven I found um, a duplicate picture in there and I'm not very happy with some of those angel pictures so when it's not such a hot book you know when I get my next book published I'm gonna go back and republish that put in some different angel pictures and um, make that clean that up a little bit because I'm not really happy with that. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. If you are an author, let me publish your next book. I only charge three hundred dollars, and I promote you, and I, and I like to be a blessing to you. So check it out, and uh, you can contact me through through my Facebook page. So love you all. Talk to you later. Bye bye.